Hi, I just thought I'd uh, show you something cool here. A uh, quick second channel video, all in a single take, it's not going to be polished. I thought I'd show you this. It's a pretty ordinary Dallas Semiconductor DS4802 uh, low voltage micro power high performance rail to rail dual op amp. Nothing special at all. In fact, it's uh, discontinued, I believe. Um, yes, not recommended for new designs. So, um, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is to take a look at the die for this thing. Anyway, um, thank you very much, uh, Antoine uh, Burko Vici, if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, for sending all these wafers into the mailbag ages ago. And this is the die. I just, for that Dallas Semiconductor chip, I just wanted to show it to you because look, it's green. It's just very cool. I haven't, uh, seen one like this before. This is 50 times magnification. This is shot on my new Olympus, uh, well, my old, like 40 year old Olympus uh, BHM microscope, 50 times magnification. It just looks really, really good. And um, like some of them have, uh, the dye is not particularly clean. Look, some of them have black marks and scratches and all sorts of, yeah, look, big scratch marks all the way through it and everything else. That uh, That's a uh, totally destroyed dye there. But if we go up and have a look at hopefully a, uh, a good one, let's find a good one. That'll do. Will it? There's a black dot down there. Who cares? Let's zoom in, shall we? So we'll zoom in to a hundred times and uh, oh, I have to still haven't sorted out the micro yet, but here we go. We're getting closer and you can see, I just love the green on here. Once again, the stage is not very terrific on this, but there we go. 1999, it was manufactured. Um, sorry, that's just my fingers uh, going on and off the stage movement controls. The DS4802A1. You can see the pads, the big white things there are the pads. And obviously, um, I won't go into the features, but uh, let's zoom in. 20, this is 200 times magnification. And you can actually see the Dallas Semiconductor uh, uh, word in there is like, um, you see it's slightly offset on different layers, which is uh, rather interesting. And N channel and P channel, look at that, uh, right in the center there. That's uh, some sort of, uh, is that some sort of test pattern? Now, I originally thought this was like the uh, Starfleet insignia when I first looked at it. Look, at, <laughs> let's go in. Let's go 400 times for the win and here we go, where are we? I thought this was the Starfleet insignia, but it's not because it's not offset to uh, the one side or whatever. So I don't know what that is. Is that somebody's, uh, whoever laid this out, that, that means something to them? I'm not sure, I don't know. Did anyone ever work at uh, Dallas Semiconductor and tell us what that is? Um, that would be, it would be interesting to know. Is it some sort of, you know, the internal team that developed them? Um, anyway. Here we go, look at this, we've got, there's actually, look, they've laser etched the, uh, what they're telling you that that's an N-channel MOSFET source gate. Yeah, sorry, I really need a good stage for this microscope, but uh, that's, is fascinating nonetheless. And they've laser etched those in to tell us exactly what these individual items or the pads are, that, that's the drain pad, obviously. And they've got more elements in there. I won't pretend to know what I'm looking at necessarily, but I, I just love the colors. The colors are absolutely gorgeous on this thing. And uh, if anyone knows why it's green as well, let us know because this is unlike the other wafers I've got here. I don't think I've seen a green one. Um, have they finished the processes? I assume that it's a, it's a finished dye, and it's not like because you can see all the you know the different coloured layers and everything else in there. So I assume that it's uh, it is. Uh, oh, there's some more. Yeah, some more commentary going on there. Not sure what all the letters mean, but. Uh, that is what a jewel, they pin one, there you go. So they've actually labeled them 
with the pin numbers. So let's go back to 200. That's a 400 times magnification. It's a bit much. Only if you want to see the detail. It's not good for panning around and stuff like that. So that's pin one. I, okay, they, they don't label the other pins. But pin one starts there and then goes around. So I've just got the wafer sitting on like a post-it note. Uh, <laughs> just to sort of raise it up because the uh, stage doesn't go high enough to get to the focus point. So, which is kind of, uh, kind of annoying. So, um, why that? Look, they've labelled those drain, but they've got big pads connected to the drain. It's like, it's fascinating. Why? Why are they big test pads? Do they test them, or something like that? I'm not sure what the deal is. P well source. Oh no, there. Okay, that's not part of the die. Okay, uh, that is a test strip in the middle. Right, so they've just got MOSFET in the middle, right, drain, uh, oh, yeah, multiple drains, no, anyway, yeah, that, you can see the corner of the uh, two dies there, so that's in the middle, they've just put, obviously, a test, uh, some test transistors in there, so that's not part of, of course, it didn't make sense, you know, there they are again right there so the die finishes start and ends there so that's what we're looking at here so we're looking at the die now so they've just got some features there that they can I guess just test them um, that the uh, MOSFET functionality is working well so no pun intended well get it talking about dies <laughs> anyway there you go I just thought that is beautiful color and I thought you might want to see that I just find that absolutely gorgeous. So thank you very much, Antoine. I'm going to do uh, more videos on all the dies he sent in. We've got like test dies and all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, But that one is particularly colourful. It's the only green one in the batch. Anyway, if you are into the uh, semiconductor processing uh, business, leave us some uh, comments down below with what you think of this puppy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time.